There are now at least 244 people infected with the coronavirus in Maryland. Hello again. I'm Rachel Carden. The mayor of Ocean City shut down the beaches, and tonight the governor says he's frustrated people aren't taking social distancing seriously. WJZ is live tonight. Kelsey Kushner with the latest. Kelsey? Well, Rachel, this is a very fluid situation. If things aren't changing by the minute, then they're changing by the hour. This is why Governor Larry Hogan says it is so important that people follow those warnings. We've got to get people off the streets and out of these crowds. It's absolutely essential. It's the governor's starkest warning yet. Sunday, health officials confirmed over 240 positive cases of COVID-19 in the state, up 190 on Saturday. Cecil County reported its first case. On NBC's Meet the Press Sunday, Governor Larry Hogan says it's necessary people follow the warnings on social distancing. The social distancing is not being enforced, and it's a little crazy to see the kind of crowds at the at the cherry blossoms. I mean, people have to listen. There's people that are out there. I mean, you are endangering not only yourselves, yeah. but your fellow citizens. This, as the mayor of Ocean City announced beach closures until April 15th, encouraging people to stay inside. But across the state, cases continue to rise. University of Maryland confirmed a fourth case of COVID-19 affiliated with a staff member. Maryland reported its third death late Saturday night, saying, a woman in her 40s in Montgomery County had died from a COVID-19 related illness. She suffered underlying health conditions. It's not enough and failures were made and, and things that should have happened right. sooner. Now, the Maryland National Guard is stationed in downtown Baltimore to help local city agencies with their response to COVID-19. Reporting live in downtown Baltimore, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ. Students started moving out of Towson University today after the coronavirus pandemic forces them to finish the semester online. Staff took precautions and only allowed groups of six at a time into the building. Students had to fill out a form in advance and make an appointment. The move out process will continue through April 4th. Spring commencement for seniors will be held in the fall.